Hey, welcome to Mr. Duru and today we will learn about finite state machines or FSM for short. Say for example, you have a game with game pods, gameplay and a game over. Say you have these three functionalities like every game have these three functionalities minimum so gameplay game pause and game over so how would you differentiate this in your code so there are a couple of ways and the most highly effective most useful and the most flexible way is using finite state machines like assume game pause as its own state gameplay as its own state and game over as its own stage state and code will run based on what state the game is in so if game is in gameplay then gameplay logic would run if game is in game pause then ui functionality with game pause would get run and if it's game is over then that functionality will get run so the one benefit of is that say after release you want to add a rewarded video in your game or if you want to add restart functionality then you can just it's just matter of adding another state game restart or rewarded video and it's like plug and play you don't have to do anything you don't have to remove any code and it's just flexible just add the one more new state and your game is ready with rewarded video functionality so the finite state machines benefits are a lot and it's used in every games using from doom to current mobile games and everything and this is one of my favorite game design pattern so let's start and how to and learn how to implement this pattern in unit G. so first thing is we will create a unity scene so I have this scene where the spear just bounces on the ground so now let's add the functionality of our finite state machine with our these three features game pause gameplay and game over so if i press spacebar then the game should get paused with game pause message so let's add that so let me stop the game okay, let's create ui game pause Let's add the gameplay. Gameplay. And finally, let's add the text with game over. So if I press F, then game should get over. So game play and game over so let's create now let's create a scripts folder scripts so the first thing we would need is we need a state manager so C sharp state manager So let's first create let's first create a state manager template so in the last video i shared with you how to use singleton pattern so finite state machines require singleton's pattern and it's you should know about it so if you have not yet watched that video then do check that video i will add the link in the description let's create a singleton pattern public static state manager my state manager and inside of awake my state manager equal to this and if my state manager is already present then it will get destroyed
ओके कूल सो फॉर फाइनेंस टेक्स मशीन वी विल यूज इनम सो क्रिएट अनम इस क्रिएट अ पब्लिक इनम स्टेट्स गेम स्टेट्स गेम प्ले गेम पॉज एंड गेम ओवर पब्लिक गेम स्टेट्स माई गेम स्टेट माई करंट गेम स्टेट दिस इज आर गेम स्टेट दिस विल गिव यूजर अ करंट गेम स्टेट एंड लेट्स एड दी फंक्शंस टू चेंज द गेम स्टेट पब्लिक वाइड on game play my current game state equal to game play game states dot game play and similarly we will have two more functions on game pods game pods and finally game over and to listen let's create this as a observer pattern we will use observer pattern i also covered this in my previous to last video do check that video for observer patterns basic we will use c sharp default event system for our observer pattern let's create it public static event action using system and we will pass the game state on game on game state changed and on in every game change state change will pass the my current game state so yeah that's real is what we need to do to implement finite state machine now let's use that in our other classes the another class we will need is ui manager and the ball manager so i'm just creating couple of classes for example profs ball manager ball manager would be on the sphere 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 ball and you are canvas will have you are manager let's add the get the game object public game object game play obj game pods obj and the game over obj so public now let's listen to the events state manager dot on game state change and inside of on disable state manager dot on game state change nothing to fear this is really simple and easy to remember syntax let uh, so what it does is we just initialize our this on game state change and whenever user changes this game state this ui manager will receive a notification that game has state has been changed new state and here we'll pass our new state if you want to learn more about uh, this pattern events and delegates then do check out my previous to last video but basically it just gets the new state from our state manager and we are removing delegate here for memory leak issues 
now the game states would be gameplay break then game states game over and the game state would be game pause now if game the state is gameplay then are you gameplay object would be active game pause object would be false and game over will also be pause that is false let's do that for game over inside of here our game over object will be active and in the game pause our game pause would be active and same will be for ball manager here we will pause the ball in the air if game gets paused and if game gets over then we will disable the ball so on enable we'll do the same state machine so state manager on and on disable we will remove the reference and here new state switch new state case game state dot gameplay case game state dot game over and case game state dot game pause so in game pause we will do time dot time scale equal to 0 and in game play we will do we'll re resume the game and in game over we will do game object dot set active we'll just get the mesh renderer okay so let's in the game over We will just get the mesh render and disable it. So I am just doing it for demo purpose. Basically you would want to disable the object completely. And in gameplay we will enable it. Now let's add one more script that is game manager which will manage our game inputs or let's create an input manager input manager let's create a script input manager and we will just need a update function if input dot get mouse button down get key down key code dot space if user press space then game will be paused so state manager dot on game game my state manager dot game pause so notice that you cannot directly access the functions from this class but we can access our own game state change because it is static event this is static so we can directly get these references but we cannot access the function so we would need to get this my state manager and then get the on game pause same we will do for f game over <clears throat> and same for d 
on game play so that really is let's play the game and test it out so first let me assign the right objects so now our normal state first state would be game play so if i go to state manager and if i set game state will be game play so if i play this game now so notice it's working like previously now if i press space bar Okay, let's add the state manager. I forgot to add it. Okay, so let's play the game. And if I now press the space bar, then notice that ball is paused and game pause is shown. Now, if I press the D, then it should get start again. And if I press the F, then game gets over. Now, if I again press D, then game gets played. If I press pause, then game gets pause. If I press space, so that's easy how game states, finite state machines are. Now imagine if you want to add some more functionality, like the rewarded video, or if you want to add some powerful features, then you just need to create a new enum, like rewarded video. and instead of game over you will pass first rewarded video with timer and if user clears uh, if user selects rewarded video then you will redirect user to the again gameplay or you will then and if user do not press any rewarded video button or any revive system then user will redirect to game over so this is quite modular and quite good system and you should look for that it's just simple example you can create classes out of this on game over on game pause in separate classes and reference that in here using interface or abstract class functionality but i just love the simple state manager class with all the functions inside of this class this gets the job done for my hyper casual games so yeah that's it from this video if you have any questions or doubt do let me know and if you like this video then do consider subscribing to my channel I am going to post a video a week every week. So yeah, see you.